So you want to know if it's worth dropping a coin on a new high-speed CF Express card? The short answer is yeah. But... I recently upgraded or thought I needed to upgrade the memory card for my Sony FX3 from SDXC to CF Express Type A. I actually held off upgrading for a hot minute, almost, almost two years to be honest with you. Now let me tell you, it is worth the upgrade. However, there are a few things you need to consider. So in this video, I want to cover those considerations, two of which kept me from initially buying the faster but more expensive CF Express Type A cards. Now these are the five topics we're gonna talk about. Number one, why would you want to upgrade when the V90 cards are fast and affordable? Number two, speed. Is it that much faster? Will you even notice? Number three, how much is this new technology or new tech going to cost me? Number four, let's talk about the form factor and why is Sony the only brand that uses type A cards? And number five, which is a summary where I wrap this all up. Numero uno, why should you even consider upgrading? Speed, that's it, speed. In some cases, the ability to unlock camera features that need said speed. For most of my use cases with the FX3, the V90 SD cards seem fast enough, and it did not seem to lock out any required bit rates that I needed. Except for the ability to shoot in super slow mo in SQ mode, the camera will bark at you when selecting high bit rate settings, advising you to use a faster card. Number two, dose. Here's a little info on the speed or performance that I mentioned. I ran a few five gig stress tests, and these are the results of the SDV90 versus CF Express Type A. I have the Lexar Gold Series CF Express card, which has an advertised max read speed of 900 MB with a max write speed of 800 MB. With actual numbers from the Blackmagic disk speed test showing read speed about 696 MB with a write speed of about 784.5 MB. The ProGrade Digital SD V90 card has an advertised read speed of about 300 MB with a write speed of 250 MB. With actuals from the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test showing read speeds of 246 MB with a write speed of 291 MB. The ProGrade SD card's write speed is a little higher than advertised, so good job ProGrade. The most important data point for me is the write speed or the ability of the camera to transfer data to the card as fast as possible. The actual write speed for the SDV90 card was 291 MB, while the CF Express showed around 784 MB, which is around 260% faster. Now check this guys, I found this old 32 gig compact flash card laying around from my old Canon 7D, and look at the 120 MB speed rating on this card. This is dookie for today's standards, but was hella fast back in the day. Number three, cost. CF Express cards at full retail are much higher in price than SDXC cards. However, if you're patient, you can grab one at a discount. The Lexar Gold Series card I purchased normally retails for $360 US for the 160 gig model. I purchased it on sale for $159.97, which is about a 55% discount. How much for order of ribs? Uh, $250. $250. So if you're thrifty, you can catch a good quality CF Express card on sale. And if you're lucky, the price could drop down into the price range of the V90 cards. Then the decision on which one to purchase is easier. Now, one thing to also consider, which adds to the cost, is a card reader. CF Express slots are not built into MacBooks, so a card reader will have to be purchased to get the data off the cards. So make sure and consider that before pulling the trigger. Now I did want to mention, not all cards are created equal. So if you're in the market for a card, the Compact Flash Association maintains a list of tested and certified cards you can check and verify before buying one. I've added a link in the video description for you guys to check it out. Number four, the form factor. There are three types of CF Express cards being made, A, B, and C. The consumer grade cameras that we actually use take type B or type A. The type B cards are cheaper and faster, but they are also bigger. Type A cards are smaller and slower than the Type B card, but they're more expensive. I'm not sure why they cost more. Maybe it's a supply and demand thing. And this is where it gets a little confusing. Which one will snuff out the other? Will it be A or B? Which type will remain? Or will we always have two types? Remember Blu-ray versus HD DVD video? I do, and this looks real familiar. So why is Sony the only brand that uses Type A cards? There are a lot of discussions about why Sony would use Type-A cards, and this is a lengthy discussion, and I don't really have an answer. 
From what I can tell though, Sony did this because type A cards are smaller. The type B cards are much larger and Sony would have to make their bodies larger to accommodate the bigger type B cards. The smaller body size was one of the reasons I actually switched from Canon to Sony in the first place. Another interesting thing to note is that for Sony cameras, the Type A CF Express card fits in the same slot as the SD card. This was a smart way to repurpose the existing slot without having to add extra bolt for the larger Type B cards. All right, so we're at the sermon and let's go ahead and wrap this one up. So should you upgrade? The short answer is yes, you should. I think if you can snatch one or two up on sale, the read and write speed improvements are well worth it. But paying full retail on the slower Type A card is a no bueno for me. If it's not on sale, I'm not buying it. Also, depending on the camera model, the SD SD cards might not be fast enough to enable all of the high bandwidth file formats. Dropping in a CF Express card may unlock some features, but from my experience, the V90 SD cards get me about 95% of the way there. The form factor of A versus B still concerns me. The larger Type B cards do have two data lanes, so I get the speed difference. I do not like that the Type A cards are priced higher. Now, CF Express is the future, and with PCIe 4.0 coming out soon this can only mean that both types will only get faster all right peeps i hope this video was helpful and provided some value y'all stay creative and have some fun out there i'm out